Hi everyone, welcome to Monday Makes, a card making with a theme collaboration um, that I am participating in with Stamp Girl, who is Paige. Hello Paige. Um, so this month our theme is pets or animals. And I knew, I had to go digging, but I knew I had this collection. I thought I had two collections, but I could only find this one. Uh, it's from My Mind's Eye, and it's called Meow. Um, yeah, Meow. And I've had it, I don't know, how. let's see if I have the strip here. Uh, 2017, so that's probably when I bought it, because that's when I first started paper crafting and I was going like wild. Um, so, yeah, I probably bought it in 2017. And... I have the journaling cards and these, I don't know why I got these, um, enamel faux pins, I guess, I don't know, and two packs of these um, puffy stickers, and this sticker sheet probably came with it, And but also the chipboard, which I don't do much that I need chipboard, but I did use some of it. I used a little bit of all of it today, and I made five cards. The idea is we'll do like three to five cards approximately uh, each month, and I made five, but they're pretty simple cards. So the first one is this, <laughs> and this came about because I cut the card wrong, but you know, it's cute. Um, I did try to use the cut up the um, journaling card things, and this one I actually brought in this um, paw print from scrapbook.com. It's called Little Paul's Stencil. And I used um, Blushing Bride, which had just been re-inked not long ago, so yeah, I didn't get it even, but it's okay. Um, Paul Prince wouldn't be even in real life. This is um, just black cardstock, and I, di I originally was going to corner around it, but I liked the way it looked not rounded. And then inside, um, oh, and this, I had two hearts left there from a former... Stampin' Up! And they're not the right color, but um, they came in a pack like this with stars and hearts and dots. And I had two pink, I think they're like Melon Mambo or something. They never tell you the colors on the pack. Anyway, I had two and I used one on the inside. And um, so inside, this is all I did. And that cat is out of this set, which... Uh, I think retires today if it's not already gone at Stampin' Up! And I used this one. I was going to use this one because it had hearts on it, but I couldn't, the way that I, I couldn't stamp that with its tail hanging down too low. So that's what I did. And this is a scrap of paper from the same collection. From the paper collection so I, had, I didn't use much paper on that one i just used one of the journaling cards so then the next one i did use paper and a journaling card um this floral paper was part of it this oh this is a blushing bride cardstock which is a retiring color of stampin up as of today today's the last day um this ribbon is current and i think it carried over I don't know, I, didn't, I haven't been writing that down, but I love this ribbon. I have an extra one just in case. It ties bows, small bows, really nicely. And I just love it. You can use it with black and white or on things like this. I have a lot of black in it. So this says, I speak fluent cat, meow, purr, meow, meow, meow. And then inside, um, I stamped the, you're the cat's meow, since it said a meow a lot. And that came out of this retired nine live stamp set that coordinates with the punch and I didn't end up using the punch but here it is you're the cat's meow and these are stickers and this is a sticker so I thought I'd bring in the flowers but it sort of looked like a sun too anyway so that's the second one I told you these are easy cards um I'm trying to use paper and stuff in my stash right so this one is the next one. It's that same floral, but I put it on a gray granite cardstock um, because I thought it was the closest match I have to that color gray that's in this paper. I first thought it would be smoky slate kind of, but no, the, the browner gray worked better. Anyway, 
So this says cat hair is cool people glitter and I was really tempted to put glitter on here but I didn't because it's supposed to be cat fur is like the glitter right? And then inside I used this stamp set again the love cats. I hadn't used it up until now um, and I had been wanting to so I stamped this one and I love hanging out with you and I stamped it over this way so there's more room to write in here. And I just used light flirty flamingo alcohol marker to color in the heart. I don't, I don't think they ever had a um, uh, blushing bride one. So that's that one. And the next one, I uh, used this paper that had all the cats. Um, now this, I had a problem with this card and um, I don't know, first I thought, the card was cut crooked so I, I cut that trim that a little bit then the paper seemed like it was cut crooked so it's down to three and seven eighths instead of four but then I had to cut these down to three and seven eighths these are two scraps of blushing bride I just wanted this to pop off the card a little better so it's backed with three different pieces a scrap of um, blushing bride and you see it's four inches so because it hangs over that but I think it looks all right this was on there, this cat and the meow. These are stickers. I again stamped You're the Cat's Meow from the Nine Lives set. And these dots are, uh, I don't know if they're carrying over. They're classic matte dots. I think they are. Um, they were in last year's annual catalog by Stampin' Up. I have two packs of them. Because you can always use black and gray. You know what? I don't know if this is the right color gray. I could have used gray, maybe. Um, it just says gray, so who knows? Anyway, and of course the ribbon again. And then inside, I used two more stickers because you know, if you, I love hanging out with you, so love heart stickers, and you need another cat to hang out with. So here's one cat, and here's the friend, right? So that was my thought and I'm sticking to it. And then one more. I almost didn't do this one and I, but I had this paper cut to that size already. And I think there's the dots or something on this one on the other side, maybe. I don't know. These are chipboard pieces here, these two. This was a um, journaling card thing. And this is one of those puffy stickers with just the cat's whiskers and so it's okay and then inside I used another journaling card it says life is perfect but notice that that pink now is darker I guess like I don't know it looks more orangey pink but I put a flower in and I put the pink cat off the sticker sheet and the bow off the sticker sheet one of them um, and I didn't put any other sentiment so I just figured I don't know could write any kind of message because nothing seemed to fit with that one that would definitely have to be sent to a cat person right so that's it those are my five cards for um our themed pet or animals um card making session for the month of April, uh, may may excuse me first monday is of the month and it's may 1st so happy may happy may day and happy birthday to my nephew it's his birthday today these are generic cards for cat people right and the only person i know that's a cat person is my daughter <laughs> and me so is anybody else oh and i think um metal scrap and chick is definitely she, she has kitties so yeah um, all right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to go check out Stamp Girl and see what wonderful cards she made this month with our theme. All right, guys, take care. Have a wonderful May. Bye for now.